Hello, welcome to High and Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we'll be going to be playing game number 10 of the 2016 Boston Red Sox season replay um, using PC Replay Baseball. So as you can see, the Red Sox here are undefeated at 9-0. and And we'll go for their 10th victory in a row to start the 2016 season. They won the last game against the Toronto uh, Blue Jays by a score of 2-1. to one. And uh, I just wanted to show you some of the uh, transactions for the Red Sox um, on April 15th. Christian Vasquez was added to the roster. Uh, Blake Swihart was removed from the roster. So yeah, I believe he went on the disabled list. Um, Marco Hernandez was added to the roster. And Resni Castillo was removed from the roster, sent down to, I believe it was Pawtucket. So those are your Red Sox transactions for the Tuesday, I mean for uh, Friday, April 15th. And we're going to play the games from Saturday, April 15th now. And the Red Sox did not have any transactions here. So let's look at the team summary. So the Red Sox, again, like I said, have won nine in a row to start the season. Uh, they'll, David Price will be pitching today against uh, Marco Estrada for the Toronto Blue Jays. And uh, they'll be game two of a four-game set. Red Sox took the first one, of course. Uh, as you can see, two to one. And uh, the Red Sox... Our first in many categories. Uh, in fact, all the pitching categories, runs against, earned runs average, whip, and batting average against, they're all first in the major leagues. Um, offense is doing pretty well, too. They're second in runs scored, third overall, second in the American League. Batting average, they're first in the majors. On base percentage, first in the American League and second overall. Home runs, they're 5th in the American League and 10th overall. And stolen bases, they're ninth in the American League and 17th overall. So they're not really expected to steal that many bases. So, However, even with a 9-0 start, they're only a game and a half ahead of the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. So Tampa Bay is hanging tough there. So, let's get started for the day. So, I'm going to start the game here. So, alrighty. So, as we said before, the Marco Estrada will start for the Blue Jays. He's got a record of 0-1 with an ERA of 7.20, 2.020 oh, whip. So he had a rough start his first time up. David Price has started two games, pitched 15 innings, has an ERA of 1.20 and a 1-0 record with a 1.00 whip. Ortiz leads the Red Sox in batting average and home runs with 406 and 5. And if you're a Red Sox or even a baseball fan, remember Ted Williams... Last person hit 400, hit 406 in 1941. <laughs> We're still way away from that, but still, it's kind of interesting. Um, Josh Donaldson leads the Blue Jays with, wow. But this is how bad the Blue Jays are. Is Josh Donaldson's leading with a 244 average. So the Blue Jays are pretty pretty pathetic so far. They're, they're having trouble getting out of the gates there. You can now see on his three home runs. Replay Radio is live from Boston. Top of the first. So, all right. So, David Price will take the mound. He'll face a Toronto lineup of Kevin Pillar. Batting first and playing center field. Josh Donaldson hitting 244 and playing third base. He's back in the field today. After DHing, I believe, yesterday. Batting third will be the right fielder, Jose Bautista. Batting cleanup would be the DH, Edward Encarnacion. Troy Tulisky, the shortstop, will bat fifth. 
batting six will be Carl. Is it Carl? Carl? Yeah, Chris Carabella. We'll bat six and play first base. The catcher will be Russell Martin. He'll bat seventh. Batting eighth and playing second base will be Darwin Barney. And on the mound, I'm oh, sorry. And batting ninth and playing left field. Just played a Nationals game where the pitchers bat. Batting ninth will be the left fielder. Ezekiel Carrera. So, all right, let's and C Christian Vasquez will actually get the start today after being just called up yesterday. So he's a very good uh, defensive catcher. In fact, they just watched uh, a game of his in spring training a few days ago, and uh, I think he gunned out two base runners. I want to say, but uh, well, actually, one plate, one of them might have been at the plate. I think one, I think he gunned out a base runner and and. Uh, was able to uh, hold on to the ball and after a collision at home plate to uh, to give the Red Sox uh, one off they won, but to some made some good defensive plays. Um, so it looks like he's back after Tommy John's. I think he had Tommy John surgery. Um, he's back. Uh, looks to be a close to 100% uh, as far as his throwing arm goes. So, all right, so the Red Sox defensively will be Holt, Bradley, and Betts in the outfield. A definitely excellent range uh, defense, above, above, way above average. Um, Travis Shaw is above average in the uh, infield. Bogarts is average. Pedroia is excellent defensively, and Henry Ramirez is average. David Price is average uh, pitching, and uh, Christian Vasquez is above average behind the plate. So error wise, not going to commit a lot of errors. Uh, Brock Holt will, you know, occasionally commit an error. Uh, Travis Shaw is, a, is is definitely an error liability in, in the right, I mean in third base, and we'll definitely replace him if the score is close towards the end of the game. While well, he does have good range, his uh, error rate is pretty high. Uh, Bogart's not too bad for a shortstop. I'm 55 is pretty good. Majora is very good, and Haley Ramirez is not bad, and David Price is excellent, fielding, uh, fields his position well, just can't get to a lot, well, about average. So, all right, so Kevin Pilar will lead it off, and as we said that Josh Donaldson leads the Toronto Blue Jays with a 244 batting average, so it tells you how, um, how hurting the Blue Jays' offense is. So you're going to see some pretty low averages here, so... Betting 229 with two homers and three RBIs will be Kevin Pillar against David Price. And here's the windup in the first pitch of the ballgame. And he hits it to Bogarts. Throws it over to Ramirez. One down. One out. Base is empty. So that's how we'll start. Next up will be Josh Donaldson. Getting 244, as we said before, with three homers and six RBIs. Line drive single. And close, but well, Betts is able to handle it. Keep John Donaldson to a single. One out, man on first. So you can see David Price has an ERA of 3.99, which is high for him. 17-9 record with a whip of 1.20. Um, definitely gave up a lot of home runs. That's been his Achilles, was his Achilles heel last year. Oh, especially home runs with runners on. So, Toronto does have that power, so I'll have to be careful with them. Jose Bautista up now with hitting 209 with two homers and seven RBIs. And just like that, there's the home run. <laughs> so... Jose Bautista responds just after I commented on it. And One out, base is empty. Blue Jays take a quick 2 to nothing lead in the top of the first. And Canarcion up now, hitting 222 with three homers and six RBIs. And a double. So the first three runners reach for the Blue... Uh, no, actually they didn't. Three out of the first four runners reach. One out, man on second. Troy Tulowitzki up now, and he won 63 with no homers and four RBIs. 
Woof. <laughs> can I see how we'll stop there, so. Looks like the Blue Jays are starting to come out of their funk here. Yeah, they're a dangerous team. So Chris Carabello, 056 with no homers and no RBIs, one hit and 18 at bats. Ball four. And ugh. Price continues to struggle here in the first. One out, bases loaded. One out and bases loaded. You're gonna play halfway, play for the double play. Runs Russell Martin up now, and he 179 with two homers and two RBIs, so they could definitely use a double play ball. Possibility here with the catcher running. Some slow front is on base. Ooh. Oh boy. So 16 and above will be a hit. And it will be a hit. Looks like a couple more runs are gonna score. Possibly. And he's thrown out at the plate, so. Whew. So I think they got one run, one more run after that. See if the trailing runner moves up. And he does not. Two outs, men on first and second. So three outs, but could have been worse. A big out at home. And who threw out who? What happened there? Curious to see this. So it looks like, oh, Jackie Bradley. Yeah, he had a lot of outfield assists, so he throws out Tulowitzki at home to keep it a three-run game. All right, Darren Barney up now, and he won 67 with a no homers and an RBI, but Russell Martin does get one RBI on the play. And grounds back to Price, but three runs, five hits, and two left. So the Red Sox are in a hole for the first time. I think this season they haven't really trailed by this much, so they'll have a little. Bottom of the first. Well, maybe they have. They'll have a little uh, coming back to do, but they definitely have the lineup to do it. So Mookie Betts will bat first, and I, I have David uh, Mark. I'm sorry, Marco Estrada on my fantasy uh, short draft league. I just drafted him. So hopefully he'll, uh, I'm hoping he doesn't do well today, but I'll get a chance to look at his card. He was 3.48 ERA, 99 record, whip of 1.12, 176 innings pitched. Yeah, so far he's pitched five innings. Uh, allowed four runs with four walks and six Ks, so he's had a rough start to the uh, 2016 season. Let's hope it continues here. Against the Red Sox. Lines out to Pilar. One down. He came in batting 262. Out, base is empty. All right, Justin Madroy up now, hitting 268. No homers and four RBIs. I'm sorry, 286. Back three, you're out. And it's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. So two down, and Xander Bogart's up. 268. That's who he's looking at. With a homer and nine RBIs. And he's got a single possible error here. Uh, nope. Strat is perfect. Doesn't commit any errors. So two down and runner at first. And big poppy up now. It's off to a great start, like you said, hitting 406 with five homers and 12 RBIs. And he flies out to Carrera, and now to retire the side. No runs, one hit, and one left on. So after one, the Red Sox trail three to nothing. Top of the second. So Ezekiel Carrera come up now, hitting 444. And four hits and nine at bats. And not a good start here for David Price. No outs, man on first. Already looking at the possible early hook. Kevin Pillar, top of the order, already up again. Grounded out his first time up to short. And strikes him out. One out, man on first. 
Donaldson up now. Singled his first time up. And he's going to single again. Carrera move. See if he's going to try to go to third here. And he's going to hold. Temporarily on B grade until an early hook can be made at the end of the inning. Ooh, that's One not out. good. Men on first and second. So the Red Sox in price need a double play. Ugh, that's not going to help. One out. Bases loaded. Bases are loaded. Hmm. I think we got to bring the infield in early in the game. Oh boy. Come on, dribble to the pitcher. And we get what we need here. Dribble to the mound. They're going to go home. So we're going to throw out. Wait a second. So we don't want to throw out the batter. You want to throw out the run third. We'll be going home. That's got to be this one. Oh, Lord. Infield single. One out. Bases loaded. So, that does not work. Oh, and then again. No! This is just getting worse and worse here. Five to nothing now. One out. Men on second and third. Red South's got some action in the pen already. Uh, I hate to do it, but I think we're going to intentionally walk Trulitsky to get to Carabello. Call four. Take your base. Going to bring the infield in. One out. Base is loaded. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. And we're, we're getting those right rolls there, but... Two outs, men on first and second. Six runs here. Red Sox need to get out of the inning now. And possible early hook here. Three runs, four hits, and two left on. Ouch. Bottom of the second. So Toronto brought their first their bats for the first time this season. Hanley Ramirez laid up. Red Sox now down six to nothing. You're gonna need a, a, a comeback of epic proportions here. Good start well, to the inning. You just gotta chip away at it. Travis Sharp now. 361. And that is not going to do it. Hey. And he's safe. Well, the Red Sox are they're getting the rolls here, so they're going to need a few what more of these. So, they able to stay out of the double play. Brock Holt up now, hitting 308 with two homers and three RBIs. Brock three, you're out. Two down. Two outs, men on first. All right, Christian Vasquez getting his first. No, oh, no, actually, he did have a. He must have played last game. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> so he must have been called up before yesterday's game. So he's 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Definitely use a big hit by him. 227 hitter. And he flies out the center, and that'll retire the side. No so after two. One hit and one left on. Red Sox trail by six. Four. Take your oh boy. No outs, men on first. Alright, so let's check the pen here. Let's see what the Red Sox have. 
did not expect this. <laughs> Let's see. The Red Sox get some action going in the bullpen. Ooh, wrong game here. So meanwhile, we'll uh, pitch the career. Uh, <laughs> Price is just all over the place. Does not have his game today. No outs. Men on first and second. All right. So we definitely got to, I think we got to hook him here. Just does not have it today after pitching a great game. His great first couple games. Just does not have it today against Toronto. Already allowed nine hits. I can't bring in Joe Kelly again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who do we bring in for long relief? Let's see. Innings pitched. Maybe possibly Matt Barnes. Now, Clay Butzel, Buckholtz would go to the pen later in the season, but he's still a starter right now, so. I think we got to bring in. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got to bring in Matt Barney. Shut it down here, because we can't afford to let Price come in any longer. I think we want to put it on the six column here because this, this is one through three here and this is one through four so the six column is what we want to block and that's the home run column so we want to kind of stay off of that one if we can Polaro will come up runners on first and second nobody out so good start pop up the third one out men on first and second Red Sox need to shut him down now Donaldson a couple of singles so far Ugh. That's a walk to load the bases. One out. Bases loaded. Jose Bautista up now. Leaping catch by Bogarts. Possible double play. And a double play to end inning. So the Red Sox needed that. No hits. So they finally have a shutdown, well not really a shutdown inning, but they're able to get out of it with no runs scored. So the Red Sox will have Bradley, Betts, and Pedroia coming up. Bradley's hitting 267 with no homers and four RBIs. The Red Sox are going to have to start chipping away. Here we go. No outs, man on first. All right, Mookie Betts up now. I don't think those are good hit. No, the 32 and possibly the 11 might be good hit run numbers. Oh, I get over to look those up. I keep forgetting to look them up. Um, hmm. yeah, I think we're going to try the hit and run. It's a hit and run. Pitch out. No. There we go. Even though they pitched out, Jackie Bradley swipes it. No outs. Man on second. So rare stolen base for the Red Sox. Well, uncommon, I should say. Not rare. Uh, 256 average. Okay. Strikeout. Red Sox need to get on the board. Out, man on second. We dry up now. Struck out his first time up. Ooh, hopefully not the dribble one. We need a real play here. Yes. Uh oh. 
Ugh. Bradley gets picked off in the rear play. Two out, space is empty. Not what they needed there. And get the infield single. Yeah, that would have put him at third. Two outs, on first. Ooh, possible wild pitch here though. There we go. That would have scored a run possibly, so. Not good for Bradley Two getting outs, picked off. Still have a shot here though. Bogarts Bogarts can deliver. Or at least keep the inning going. Nope. Lines out to right, and that'll retire the side. No runs, one hit, and one left on. So the Red Sox are unable to score, and it's six to nothing going into the top of the fourth. Double for Encarnacion. So his Blue Jays hitting continues. It's so their tenth hit on the day. Tulowitzki up now. Strikeout. One out, man on second. Chris Carballo coming up. There you go, back to back K's. Two outs, man on second. Russell Martin up now, single then has a run batted in. Uh, looping line drive, range four. Or defensive four. So we need a 22 or below. <sighs> Can I see one will come in? And it would be seven to nothing. Two outs, men on first. Darwin Barney. Ball four. Take your Oof, man. Two outs, men on first and second. All right, we got to get rid of Barnes here. We got can't afford to get any more runs in. So we got lefty, righty, righty. Not so much worried about this guy. He is hitting 500, but oh, what did I do that for? I did not want to do that. Looks like they're gonna hold him at Two third, though. So, all right, so that's definitely gonna bring another righty. We got to. Have a shut down inning here. Ugh, not much going on for righties here. Looks like we gotta bring in Tazawa. Usually he doesn't come in this early, but we need to shut him down. Yeah, we're gonna block that six column there. So the Red Sox need to get out of this with no more runs scored. Ah, jeez. The bleeding continues. At least he holds there. That's good. Just one Two run. Bases loaded. Ugh, eight to nothing. Ugh, man. Well, I guess if we're going to lose it, we might as well lose it big. So, I hate to lose in a nail biter to... <laughs> we're getting all these nice rolls though I mean we're and one left on. Or except for that one that was well that one's not the greatest thing but all right big poppy let's get us on the board here at least not to keep us from getting shut out possible error on Tulowitzki One out, base is empty. Hanley Ramirez. Oh, come on. All right, we'll take it. Home run would have been nice, but. One out, man on first. Keep the, let's see. Travis Sharp now, 0 for 1. Grounded out to second. Here we go. Ramirez will move to third. One out, men on first and third. Brock Colt coming up. Struck out his first time up. It's the second, no, oh, and it's a double play to end the inning. Oh, man. No runs, two hits, and one left on. Top of the fifth. Head to the top of the fifth. 
Does that will come out for another inning? We need to get another inning of one, two, three inning out of him. Oh no. There we go. Good start. One out, base is empty. Batista's out on a close call there. Canarcion, three for three, a couple doubles, single, and an orange batted in. And we finally retire him. Two outs, base is empty. To Lewitsky. So much for our number one rankings in uh, pitching there. Oh, here we go. Blue Jays offense has come alive. We awoke the sleeping giant. One run, one hit, and none left on. The Blue Jays add one. Bottom of the fifth. Christian Vasquez will lead it off. Come on, 26 and above. There we go. Vasquez had himself a leadoff double. No outs, man on second. Jackie Bradley up now. Walked his first time up. Possible error. We definitely need an error here. Nope. All right. One out, man on third. Wookie bets up now, all for two. Ugh, man. Two outs, men on third. Justin Bajori up now. One for two. There we go. This we're on the board now. Some mock cheer there. Oh, we're gonna. We need to get the bat in a second. There we go. Drea hustles out a single. Two outs, man on second. All right, guys, come on. We need a two out rally here. And nope, flies out to end anything. One run. Two At least we get on the board. One left on. We will not be shut Back out. Russell Martin. So at least we can keep that streak alive. We haven't been shut out yet this season. All right. Ooh, gotta get rid of him. So we got righty, righty, lefty. If we don't have much there. We're gonna really go through a bullpen today. I think Joe Kelly now. I think he's gonna be pitching, or he's already come in to pitch, so he's gonna be at a bad grade anyway. Yeah, I'm bringing no Ramirez here. <laughs> Strikes out, one down. One out, base is empty. Darwin Barney up now. 0 for 1 with a couple of walks. Ball four. And right. one out walk. The Red Sox have definitely issued a lot of walks today. One out, men on first. Alright, let's check Christian Vasquez's arm here. And he catches him stealing, so guns him out. Two outs, base is empty. That might have been a second. Is that a second? No. I just was talking about it before. Guns him out. So great play there. So Ezekiel Carrera comes up now. Two two for two. A couple of singles. Ugh, man. Two outs, men on first. All right, so no runs, no hits, and one left on. Well, only the second time the Blue Jays do not score. Bottom of the sixth. All right, David Ortiz will lead it off. All for two. Ground ball the second. Barney throws him out. One down. One out. Base is empty. Hanley Ramirez up now. Eyes out to left. 
Two outs, base is empty. Travis Shaw. And one, two, three, go the Red Sox in the sixth. So after six, they trail 11 to one. <laughs> no outs, man on first. Batista up now. Homer knocked in a couple runs. Walked. <laughs> it's by a pitch. Sounded pretty no intentional there. Looked pretty intentional. Big Canarsione up now. Three for four with a couple of doubles, a single, and an RBI. Grounds out the third. One out, men on second and third. He's been struggling, so oh, he did hit a home run though. Yeah, I think we gotta walk him. <laughs> All right, we're just going to play for the double play now. Corbello running. Slow speed, so Tilowitzki's slow. Before we can turn. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dribble it back to the mound. Oh, man. Now, Donaldson we don't want to get rid of because, well, we can't because he's a four. So we have to go for try to re, let's try to retire. Throw out batter, that'd be first. Throw out first, that'd be Tolowitzki going to second. So let's try to get the try to get that runner. We probably should have went for the runner at home, but we have a better chance against him. And we do good. So we'll trade the out there. Two outs, men on first and third. 12 to 1 now. Russell Martin coming up. A couple of singles and a couple of RBIs. Right, Blue Jays tack on one. 12 to 1. One run, no hits, and two left on. Bottom of the seventh. All right, Brock Colt will lead it off. 0 for 3. Base is empty. Christian Vasquez, one for two with a double. And he walks. One out, man on first. Jackie Bradley up now. One oh for one with a walk. Oh, here we go. And it's been one of those days. <laughs> All right, at least we get the runner on. Come on, bets. Here we go. Base is loaded. One out. Base is loaded. All right, Pedroia. Doubled and singled. Has an RBI. Two for three. Single. That'll knock in at least one. Takes the extra base. All right, all right. He now has three RBIs today. One out. Men on first and second. Xander Bogart's up to the, now. Toronto go to the pen. I'll bring in Jesse Chavez. We'll have the six column. Xander Bogart's. Come on, baby. Need a big hit here. It's the first possible error. Second first double play. Yeah. Ow! And it's a double play. Their second double play turn today. Yeah, lovely. Two runs, two hits, and one left on. All right, so we scored two though. Twelve to three. Single digit deficit. Good. 
No outs, man on first. All right, we're going to bring in Tommy Lane. That's their second double play turn today. Yeah. <laughs> Two outs, base is empty. It flies out. No runs, one hit, and none left on. Bottom of the eighth. All right, David Ortiz, I come up now for three. One out, base is empty. Here is up now, two for three of the couple of singles. It's a foul, so I'll get another One shot out, at base it. Is empty. Runs back to the pitcher. Two outs, base is empty. One for three with a single. And just like that, the inning's over. Top of the ninth. Alright. One out, base is empty. Back him out, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Ball four. <laughs> cannot get that two clean outs, inning. I think last push. inning we might have had a clean inning. I'm not sure though. Oh boy. Pitch. Two outs, man on second. Ball four. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's get Two this outs, game over on with. First and second. There we go. No runs. No hits, and two left on. Bottom of the ninth. All right, so I think we're going to take out Holt. We're going to bring in a pinch hitter. We might bring in Rutledge. He just came. They just called him up. Young is if there was a lefty in there. So actually, Hernandez just got brought up too. Yeah, we'll let Hernandez get in that bat here. Why not? I think Hernandez, yeah, Hernandez and both of them get brought up. And... Yeah. Track three, you're... And strikes out. One out, base is empty. Vasquez up now, one for three with a... Eh. Let Rutledge get in that bat. And he strikes out too. <laughs> Two outs, base is empty. Alright, last the Red Sox down there last out. Jackie Bradley, one for three. One for two with a single. And that'll do it. Toronto wins the game easily. Until next time, this is Replay Radio signing off. So the Red Sox go down 12 to 3, and their nine game winning streak to start the season is over. But we'll take that. See if we can play at a 900 percentage for the season. That would be awesome. <laughs> anyway, so I guess if they're going to lose their first game, they might as well lose big. So, you know. 
<laughs> that way we don't have to say like, uh, oh, what if we did this or what if we did that? So they just were not going to win today. <laughs> so David Price has a horrible outing. Strata gets the win, one and one. Pitched a good game. Donald's going to get the MVP. Let's see there. Let's check their averages out now and see who's ahead. So, yeah, Josh Donaldson now leads. Well, he doesn't have enough bats, I don't think, but 289 batting average leads the team. More respectable. And Canarsion's already up to 268. I think the highest they averaged was 244 before that. So, also Martin even gets over 200. Batista improves his average with a 1 for 4 outing. Red Sox do manage, they still manage nine hits, so they, they're still 290 batting average. Blue Jays are up to 219. They were probably hitting around 200 when they first came in. They were 16 for 37, so they hit like four something. So I think they were under 200 were coming into the game, or close to that. Vajoy is still at three hits. Ortiz goes 0 for 4, down to 361. Wow, 406 to 361. Hanley Ramirez, two for four. Yeah, not much other than that. Bautista had a homer. Tulowitzki had a homer. And Tazawa. I mean, uh, Tazawa gave up the home run there. Uh, let me check Vasquez. I think he just threw out the one base runner. Yeah. Strada goes six in a third inning. Uh, he really didn't pitch that well. Nine hits, three runs, three walks, and five strikeouts. We just couldn't couldn't score off of them. Could have had more runs than that. Chavez pitched two and two thirds school of things in relief. I don't think he allowed him. He did not allow a base runner, as far as I know. David Price, yeah, just horrible. Just pitched two plus innings, nine hits, six runs, four walks, two strikeouts. Home run to. Uh, Bautista, two run homer. The bullpen really didn't do any better. Matt Barnes, four runs, two only two of them were earned. So yeah, just not a good game, and uh, we lose for the first time this season. So we'll be nine and one now. Let's check the. Uh, Check our replay daily. So we're nine and one. Toronto's eight. Uh, Tampa's eight and two. They're playing. Tampa's playing Chicago, so I have to keep an eye on that. So yeah, we lose our first game of the season. So we get it done, but a good start to the season. Still, uh, really optimistic. Um, at this point, the Red Sox were six and four. Uh, to actually start the real season. So we're three games better than that still. So we're still ahead of that pace. So we can keep that going. That would be great. So yeah, that's it. This has been Eric from High Ground Gaming. Thanks for joining me. And we'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye-bye.